Hey fam, it is your boy and supernatural coach, Rainier Pollard. I am here with a 15 minute lower body dominant kettlebell workout. If you don't have one of these, you can use a dumbbell and make it work. Now, let's get this sweat. All right, fam, let's get right into this by getting into some insurance. Now, I know I said this is a lower body dominant workout, but we need these shoulders warmed up for all the kettlebell swings ahead. I'm gonna start by loading my weight to my heels, keeping my knees nice and wide and crawling it forward nice and slow. We're gonna get a nice up dog here. I give my booty a little squeeze, chest up to the sky, a good active stretch to that front body before walking these hands back, dropping my booty and open my arms up to a good X position, get it around that booty. And we're just gonna continue on that flow. Notice how my hands stay underneath my shoulders. I'm pushing the ground away, pushing my hips towards the ground and continually getting in some nice deep breaths. Now from here, I'm gonna start adding on some options. I told you it doesn't need to be an upper body day, but if you wanna get in the spirit, join me on diving in to that up dog. Walking it right back, we're gonna change the arm position here to more of a T, arms out nice and wide, open the chest and continue forward. Now we will be getting our heart rate up today, so you don't need to focus on moving quickly. I say move consistently and you will feel that heart rate climb and that body feel all sorts of love. Our last two crawls right here, after you dive in, if you've chose that, you can choose to dive back down and come up to a down dog before walking it back and reaching these arms overhead to a Y. Ooh, if that's too much for you, stick to the T. It is all good with me. Last time here, moving through, breathing consistently and enjoying yourself. If you know me, you know that I consider enjoyment to be a priority, not an afterthought, okay? All workouts to me are a celebration of life party. Now from here, let's stand up. We're only gonna focus on the squats. As I sit, I'm raising my hands high, squeezing my butt just like so. If it's too much to raise those hands overhead, just raise them to shoulder height, focus on dropping this booty, squeezing it to stand tall. And just as I said before, I'm not focusing on speed, I'm focusing on consistency. There will be opportunities to jump today. So if you wanna get into that kind of play, squeeze that booty, land soft, and I'm keeping it nice and slow. We have about 15 seconds to go, breathing through. I don't need you looking straight ahead, although if you're feeling like you can keep that kind of posture, I want you to do it. But looking at like a 45 degree angle is all good with me as well. Just a couple more here, whether you're jumping or not, easing low and rest. You're gonna notice I'm gonna give a lot of options today. I love a good option. Do what feels good for you. This workout is a collaboration between us two. From there, we're going to keep the back nice and long. Shoulder blades together. Slight bend in the knees. Outline the front of your legs as you lift your hips. Feel a good stress in that back of the hamstrings. Squeeze the butt, come right up. Inhale, lift, 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 lift. Exhale, squeeze that booty, just like that. You know, I would say on my first Pop Sugar video, I talked about the bend and snap. You let me tell you, Legally Blonde came out in 2001. Okay, I have been bending and snapping for a good 20 years now. I'm a professional. And let's be honest, I was born a professional with the bend and snap. Okay, <laughs> get it? Outline them legs, lift those hips, and keep that back nice and long. Now, from here, I want you to load those hips and then raise your hands to pressure your hips even higher. I'm gonna squeeze my booty, stand tall on my toes, and then push back, absorb that weight into my heels and into my glutes. Push it, push it. Now what I wanna start to see is a consistent momentum shift, pushing back the heels up to the toes, showing me that you feel confident in absorbing the weight 
of your body as you push into those hips. Now, if you feel really good, you can turn this into a slight jump again. If you know you're gonna be jumping with me today, this is the opportunity to jump for joy from the very beginning. Get that gratitude in the body. Keep breathing throughout. And this is our last move of warm up. Let's get 10 more seconds here. Breathing through, fighting strong, squeezing that booty, landing nice and soft. Four, three, two, and rest. Consider yourself warmed up. We're getting to our first activity. Let's bring over this kettlebell. So we are gonna clean. I want you to start at the handle of the kettlebell, squeeze your booty and catch the bell. You see how much power my booty gave me? How this thing almost flew through the roof? Oh my goodness. We're starting right here. Good 40 second set. Give me what you got moving through nice and consistently. Notice how I keep my chest up as I drop my booty down low, okay? This is the kind of exercise gets you ready for the clubs to drop it down low and stay there. You know what I'm saying? You have to practice. Don't just go out to the club and drop it low without getting it in your workout first. My goodness, let's be safe here. I am squeezing my butt to rocket my head up. But I want you to notice my hips finish underneath my head, not in front of my body. So I'm trying to get to neutral, keep my belly button pushing back into my spine. So my booty's going forward and my belly button is coming in. Rest, just like that. Okay, two sets of squat jumps. Now, if you don't wanna jump today, you pulse it down low and let these quads burn. If you're up to jump with me, start it right here. Let's go. Whether you're jumping or letting it marinate in that low squat, I want you to see what kind of endurance you have in that spirit right now. You understand me? Even if you don't, just keep doing what you're doing. I'm not always easy to understand, I understand that. I have to accept myself for who I am, and you should do the same. Thank you, rest. Okay, you can beat out a little bit. We're doing one more set, okay? It happens in five seconds, four, three, two, make it hot, 25 seconds. Whether you're staying down that squat, pulsing a bit, weight, in the heels predominantly, or getting into these jumps. Now, just because you're jumping doesn't mean you need to move fast. I let myself land, my butt drops a little bit more, then boom, okay? Seven seconds, keep fighting, okay? Trying to blast off. Four, three, two, and one. Now, every round of our kettlebell swings is gonna get longer, and I wanna talk to you about our aim with the kettlebells. Our kettlebells are not about working the shoulders, they're about working this booty and hamstring and upper back. So first, shoulders away from the ears, big chest. The only reason that this kettlebell makes it underneath my goodies is because I have a very slight bend in my knees. And then the handle of the kettlebell is gonna almost graze my inner thigh, that's a great sign. If it's down here, ah, uh -uh, right underneath the goodies, okay? So, short stop position, belly button in, stubborn upper back, reach forward for it, let it swing in and squeeze that butt. Absorb, squeeze that butt. Just a slight bend in the knees. You exhale to stand tall, and as the kettlebell comes back down, I just absorb the momentum as it falls. So gravity is my friend here, I'm working with gravity as I squeeze my booty. The weight has just enough power to resist gravity and get up nice and high. I'm not pulling with my shoulders whatsoever, but my upper back is making sure that this kettlebell does not fly forward. My grip strength is making sure it doesn't fall out of my hands and go break something. I think Pop Circuit would charge me for it. Mm. <laughs> Last moment's here. Three, two, one, down. Now. Take in those, that, those deep breaths right now. Right now, normally I'm saying we can get a dance break. You know I like to fit a twerk into everything, but we gotta keep it moving today. I got a lot planned for this 15 minute. So, we're gonna clean down and one jump. If you don't wanna jump, you can do a quick um, onto the toes or just continuously clean. 50 seconds, make it hot. One clean, put it down, squeeze that booty. Now, what I love about having to put it down on the ground, we're like forcing out that range of motion. If you feel 
Like you cannot get it to the ground without bending over. Make it deliberate. Get as low as you can and then hinge very gently to get it to the ground. Don't let this kettlebell pull you. You're the one in charge. We got less than 20 seconds remaining. I'm starting to wonder why I needed to make this interval longer than the last. What was I thinking? Why do I gotta always try to push the envelope so much? You know what I mean? It's not enough just to come out here and be funny and make people's abs hurt through laughter in here. Goodness. Okay. Four seconds, three seconds. Don't stop early. You know you have one more. Okay. And rest. Now, as if those jumps were not hard enough last time, I'm giving you the option, especially if your kettlebell's feeling light, to do your jumps with the kettlebell in hand or even to stay down low and pulse with the kettlebell in hand. You choose. Ready? Go. It's 20 seconds this time. I cut off a whole five seconds. I know. I'm just the nicest trainer you've ever met in your life. You don't have to say it. I already know. And I did hear you just now. Okay. Eight seconds. Ooh. If I heard you just now, does that mean I hear you when you're cursing at me? Yes. Goodness. And rest. You better be happy that curse words don't work on people. And I have all this shine around me protecting me. Goodness. One more set. Set it, ready, go. 20 seconds, come on. What you got? Are you staying down low and letting it pulse? Maybe you jumped the first time around and now you need to stay low and just let those quads burn. Whatever you need to do, be proud of yourself for being here. Be proud of yourself for showing up today. Whew. Speak to yourself with kindness. It's a habit we all need to create. Rest. You can't just create the habit. Gotta maintain it. Okay, going back to these kettlebell swings. We might be a little bit out of breath. Focus on the booty squeeze. Ready, load it, let's get it. Barely missing your goodies, okay? Very slight bend in the knees. Ooh, it's the swing and snap, okay? You know we have to reinvent everything. I'm sure the next Legally Blonde is coming out at some point. Maybe this is it. Legally Blonde Pop Sugar Edition. It's the swing and snap, okay? We got 20 seconds. Keep squeezing that booty. Keep being stubborn with your upper back. How much can you try to pinch your shoulder blades together? How much can you try to look confident that chest is up and out? Seven seconds. We're gonna get to that last round. Come on, baby, baby! Two, one, and rest, okay? Last round. We gonna make it happen, baby! What I'm gonna do, Clean it, one squat, put it down, one jump, okay? Nothing to it, but to do it, I don't even wanna stall, let's get into it. So, I clean, I give one front loaded squat, I put it down, I jump it high. Clean, one squat, good. Put it down, I squeeze that booty. Throughout every single one of these motions, what am I focused in on? My chest staying up nice and high. Being stubborn about it. Why? Get my mid back working nice and strong. Ooh, baby. Trying to have some high flying fun on those jumps. They just took a picture of me. I look like Superman. I love it. Oh, squeeze it. Boom. We do have less than 20 seconds. All of our last intervals are the longest intervals. It's not because I'm mean. It's because I had to wait for you to warm up like that. You know what I'm saying? It's called being responsible. Let's finish it. Last moment. Last one. Make it hot. Make it hot. Oh, rest. Now, I am not doing kettlebells on the next set of jumps. I'm doing side to side. One round. It's a little lengthy. If you're not jumping, you can just keep stepping it and letting it marinate. Everybody else? Take your time and go one set. Notice how I just ease down low. I'm ready. Ease down low. I'm ready. Ooh, yes. Absorb. Now, when it really starts to burn, you're like, Renee, I can't take it anymore. I don't know what to do. You could go to that level where you're walking it side to side. If you're ready, walking it side to side, you could start coming up out of the squat a little bit, going right back down trying to press yourself, trying to see what your body has in store for itself today, okay? You have eight more seconds. 
we're fighting together. This is why we got so close. This is why we're besties. Going through these kind of struggles together. Overcoming challenges. Rest. Okay. Okay. I'm all hyped up. I'm a little out of breath. And I got one more set of swings to go. This workout is not going to defeat me. Not today. Ready. Booty back. Longest set. Squeeze that butt. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, fam. We're in our last set. It's the longest set of kettlebell swings. I am gonna give you an option. Every time the kettlebell's coming up, you can step a foot in and out. So we're still getting more lateral motion, okay? What I love about stepping the foot in and out, as complicated as it may seem coordination-wise, it adds to the power. So I easily start to get more power on my swing by having to step my foot in, get some inner thigh realness, get some lateral movement in there, just like our lateral jumps we just got. We're more than halfway there. Remember, just because you're stepping in and out, I don't want the, fall, the downward descent of the kettlebell to movement to get any sloppy, okay? Very slight bend in the knees. It's like you're hiking a football right through the legs. The momentum of the kettlebell is not going down, it's going back. We've got four seconds, last activity, come on. Making it hot, standing up tall, looking proud, and rest it. Very nice job. That is all she wrote. Let's get ourselves a nice cool down, cause you deserve it. Legs are good and wide. I'm gonna start with a side body stretch. I'm gonna push my hips to the right, reach my right hand overhead, taking a good deep breath here, inhale. Notice how I reach and lengthen. Then I wanna really bring in my abdominals. Squeeze my butt, getting a little back bend. I'm gonna reach this hand back, try to focus on a good hip flexor stretch. Inhale. Exhale, come back the way you came. Belly button tight. Keep that low back feeling supported. And let's stop over on the other side. Reach that arm overhead. Push your hips in the opposite direction of that hand for all of these movements. Inhale. Exhale, belly button and even tighter. Really support that low back for this back bend. If it doesn't feel good to reach backwards, you can keep that hand in. Inhale. Exhale, coming back the way you came. This time, let's stop in front. I'm gonna push my head forward as I push my hips back and feel a good stretch to those hamstrings. Last deep breath together here. Exhale, allow that upper body to just relax and bring those feet in towards each other, trying to keep the weight predominantly on your heels. Let's have a moment of gratitude. Are we proud of ourselves for getting in here today and showing this body some love? Shake your head, yes. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. And are we gonna let any negative voices from others or from even our own head get in the way of us spreading love in this world? Shake your head, no. This world needs warriors of love, and that's what we gonna be. I demand it. Okay, slight bend in the knees, creeping up one vertebrae at a time, leaving your neck, your head for last. Open that chest to the sky. Oh, and round of applause. Congratulations, you got through it. I hope your legs are burning. I hope your lungs felt it a little bit too, because I don't want to be the only one going through this right now, okay? So one of our audience members wants to know what are the benefits of using the kettlebell? It's such a beautiful blend of cardio and strength training. Because of the form of the kettlebell and where the weight is placed, there's so much stress happening on the back body at all times. So it really is able to let your heart rate get up high while my hamstrings and my upper back and my mid back are being challenged ever so well. So when you want the total body workout and one exercise, the kettlebell swing is where it's at. Now, if you have any questions about any of the exercises you saw in today's workout, leave it in the comments below and you just might get an answer from one of the Pop Sugar trainers.